One of the most popular aspects of GuruFocus.com is the interactive chart feature. To use it, simply enter a ticker symbol in the top left search bar, and then select the interactive chart heading. This chart allows users to plot any number of fundamental data to produce a visual image. Along the left side of the chart, you'll see the most popular series that can be applied to this chart. As you click each of the individual boxes, you'll see this data overlaid across the current price graph on this chart. You can add as many series as you want to the same chart with, by simply clicking each of them and then remove them just as easily by unchecking the boxes. Some of the series can even be customized such as the price at PE function. Down uh, along the left side you'll see a box you can check for price at PE 15. This is essentially the earnings line that plots a theoretical stock price at 15 times that year's company earnings. Should you choose to plot the stock at a different PE you can adjust that figure and then recheck the box and the earnings line will be plotted at your predefined PE ratio. There's also a function at the top of the page that will highlight recession years on top of your chart. So by clicking this box, you'll see gray vertical areas plotted along the chart to reflect U.S. economic recession times. There's also a list of user-defined charts that can be selected with the drop-down menu in the top left corner of the chart area. The most popular is probably the Peter Lynch chart. By selecting this, it will automatically plot two popular series, one being the price, which at this time is highlighted in blue, and the second the earnings line, or a theoretical price, with a PE at 15 times. Others include price to sales valuation bands, balance sheet figures, GDP and gross national product, and the dividend yield of the selected security. In addition to the endless list of available series, there are also economic indicators which can be found at the bottom of the list. These economic indicators, irrelevant to the stock currently being plotted, can display macroeconomic conditions. Some of the most popular include the ratio of the Wilshire 5000 over the gross national product, the gross national product as compared to the Wilshire 5000 full market cap, and the Schiller PE ratio. Again, each of these reflects the overall U.S. economy or total U.S. equity market.